Hi guys and welcome to this video. Kleena here. Today I'm going to be taking you through the solution to this question based on the circle. This is a short question worth 30 marks, so let's get started. We're told that s is the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. But we're asked to write down the center and the radius of the circle s. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my log tables on the page with the formulas for the circle to help me with this question. So the formula that we're given looks most like this formula, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And that is given the center hk and the radius r. So as we can see in the circle that we're given, it's not x minus anything or y minus anything. So that means that it's x minus zero and y minus zero. So the center is zero, zero. So I'm gonna write down the center here as zero, zero. The radius is r squared, so 25 is equal to r squared. So r is equal to the square root of 25, which is 5. So we have the center at 0, 0, and the radius at 5. Okay, so the radius is 5. So that's a part 1 done. Now we want to show that the point 3, 4, 3 minus 4, is on the circle S. So let's fill that in for x, y is equal to 3 minus 4. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. So our x is 3, so that's 3 squared plus minus 4 squared is equal to 25. 3 squared is 9, minus 4 squared is 16, and that is in fact equal to 25. So 25 is equal to 25. So we've verified that that point is on the circle. So for the first two parts of this question, if we're getting the correct answers, you're going to get a total of 10 marks. Now we're asked to write down the coordinates of two other points that are also on the circle S. For this question, I do think it helps to write, to draw a small diagram, okay? So our circle is gonna look something like this. So the point here is zero, zero. We know that the radius is five. So this point here is going to be five, zero. This point here is going to be minus five, zero. This point here is going to be zero, five. This point here is going to be zero minus five, okay? We also know that the point three minus four is on it. So that's three minus four, it'll be somewhere around here. That means that the point three plus four is also going to be on it, okay? Because it's a circle based around the origin. So I'm gonna write down, we only need two, so I'm gonna write down three, four, and I'm gonna write down five, zero. So these are two other points that are on that circle. And you're gonna get five marks for writing down two points that are on the circle S. Now in question B, we're told to find the points of intersection between a different circle K and the line L. So L is equal to five X minus Y minus 13, and K is equal to X squared plus Y squared is equal to 13. So when you're given two equations like this and you're asked to find the point of intersection, what you want to do is write one equation in the other, okay? So we're going to leave this one here because that has x squared and y squared values, okay? So we're gonna first work with this L and I'm gonna write that in terms of either x or y. So we have 5x minus y minus 13 is equal to zero. And I'm gonna write that in terms of y, okay? Because there's a coefficient in front of x. So I'm gonna move y over to this side. So we're left with 5x minus 13 is equal to y, right? Now, let's fill this in to the equation k. So we have x squared plus y squared, but y is 5x minus 13, and that's equal to 13, okay? So now we can see that k is just an x equation. So k is just an x equation. We're gonna find two values for x, by working through this equation, and then we can use those values to find two values for y. And they're gonna be the points of intersection. So let's start multiplying this out to make a quadratic equation. So I'm gonna expand out these back-to-back -back brackets. I'm gonna bring this 13 over to the other side, so it's gonna become minus 13 is equal to zero. So we have x squared plus five x by five x is 25 x squared. And then we have five x minus 13, okay, and I'm gonna actually use my calculator for this. So five multiplied by 13 is 65. It's gonna be minus 65x, and then we have minus 13 by 5x, which is again minus 65x, and minus 13 by minus 13, gonna give us positive 169, minus 13 is equal to zero. 
So let's add together the like terms. So we have 26x squared minus 65x minus 65x is going to give us 130x minus 130x even. And then we have 169 minus 13, which is going to give us plus 156 is equal to zero. So now let's simplify that a bit. And when you're simplifying something like this, the first thing that you should do is get the smallest number and see if everything can be divided by the smallest number. Okay, so let's divide 130 by 26. And that is 5, so it is divisible. And 156 divided by 26 is 6. Okay, lovely. So let's divide it all by 26. 26x squared divided by 26 is just x squared. Minus 130x divided by 26 is minus 5x. And 156 divided by 26 is plus 6. Okay, so we've divided across by 26. Now we have a quadratic equation which we can solve to find two values for x. What are two numbers that will multiply together to give us 6 and that will add together to give us minus 5? And that is minus 2 minus 3. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. Taking out what's common here, we have x, we're left with x minus 2. And then here, taking out what's common, x, we're left with x minus 2. Okay, so we have x minus 3 in a bracket, so this and this, and x minus 2 in brackets, because these brackets are the same and they have to be. Let that equal to 0, so that means that x minus 3 is equal to 0, and also x minus 2 is equal to 0. So that means that x is equal to 3, and it means that x is equal to 2. So these are our two values for x. Now let's use this to find our values for y. So we'll remember that y is equal to 5x minus 13, and this is up here. When x is 3, y is equal to 5 by 3 minus 13, so that's 15 minus 13, which is 2. So one point of intersection is 3, 2. And when x is 2, we're using our two values for x here. y is equal to 5 by 2 minus 13, which is 10 minus 13, which is minus 3. So another point of intersection is 2 minus 3. So these are our two points of intersection, 3 minus 2, or my apologies, 3, 2, and 2 minus 3. 3. And for getting these correct, you're going to get a total of 15 marks for this question. Okay, everyone, so that's all for this video. I hope you found this helpful and that it might have cleared up anything that you were struggling with when going through these solutions yourself. Thank you all very much for watching and for listening. I'll see you in the next video.